Continuing from yesterday, here are some strategies for boosting your online business. 30. YouTube Marketing We've spoken a little about the importance of using video already. This is also extremely important when it comes to YouTube. YouTube can be a very powerful tool for marketing as it has an excellent search tool that is easy to optimize for, and because it allows you to engage with your audience in a highly persuasive manner. 31. Running a pre-order. Asking for pre-orders has a huge number of benefits. This not only gives you some upfront cash flow, but it also gives you an idea of how much time to invest in your idea, based on how popular it appears to be. 32. Launch big. Pre-orders also help to build buzz for your product. Launching your product in a big way is an extremely powerful way to gain that initial momentum. 33. Get genuine reviews. Many of your visitors can tell the difference between genuine reviews and paid reviews. Ensure you have as many of the former on your page as you possibly can. 34. Give away review copies. Another great way to get more people interested in your product is to give free copies products to influencers. This is a great way to get free exposure, as well as to network with people who could help you in future in a very positive manner. 35. How to get media coverage. If you can get your products and items covered in the media, this can be just as powerful. Look for the big news sites in your niche and get review units copies to their key journalists. Likewise, consider using press releases to gain more coverage. When it comes to press releases, consider that journalists are not looking to give you free exposure. They are only interested in stories that are genuinely interesting for their audience. So if you don't have an interesting angle, then you need to come up with one. 36. The long and narrow. A great web design for a sales page is long and narrow. This means that it should encourage your visitors to scroll down the page to keep reading. The further they scroll, the more, invested, they will feel in what they have read. This, in turn, means that they will want that invested time to be, worthwhile, and as such, they will consider buying from you. 37. Red buy buttons are better. This might seem strange, but simply making sure that your, buy now, button is colored red, can be a very effective way to get more sales. This is because the color red has been shown to slightly increase heart rate and thereby make us more impulsive. 38. Reconsider your lead magnet. If the lead magnet you are giving away is too high value, it actually has two undesirable effects. It encourages people to sign up who just want free stuff, and it devalues what you are capable of offering. 39. Have a coupon code. This is a great way to get people to buy who otherwise might not, it's a good way to test out discounts, and it also lets you run deals with affiliates, influencers, and others. 40. Use a countdown timer. While this can look spammy, when used correctly, a countdown timer can be a powerful tool. 41. Don't be spammy. As a general rule, you should always maintain your integrity. This builds long-term business. It means people will come back to your brand again in future, it means that serious influencers will want to do business with you, and it makes you seem more like a serious player in the industry. If your ethos is to do whatever you can to drive a sale, then you will see your reputation and your business strategy crumble over time. 42. Consider a funnel. Funnels involve using multiple different touches to gradually increase investment and engagement. The idea is that you are going to get people to first download something for free, then to spend a little money on something small, then to pay for something bigger. This is an excellent way to get people involved and to sell your bigger ticket items. 43. Try scrapping the funnel. That said, some people spend so much time and effort focusing on their funnel, that they end up confusing and driving people away. If you are losing the forest for the trees, then try scaling back and just offering a strong product outright. 44. Always warm up those cold leads. The best way to think about your sales process is like dating. You wouldn't walk up to a stranger in the street and ask if you could take them home. You could be the best looking person in the world, but they know nothing about you, they have no reason to trust you, and you may be dangerous for all they know. 45. Market in person. Marketing face-to-face -face is an extremely effective way to make sales and can also be an extremely valuable learning tool. 
This way, you can see the feedback in person, and you can get a great idea of what's working and what isn't. Next time you're out at a party, try convincing someone to buy your product. 46. Social proof. Social proof means things like testimonials or stats that tell the audience, everyone is buying this. This is a very powerful tool in your arsenal, as humans are social creatures. If you can demonstrate that your product is popular, and if people are enjoying it, then that will significantly increase the likelihood of others trusting in what you have to offer and buying from you. 47. Authority. Another option is to allude to authority. We have discussed becoming an authority to some extent by posting smart blog posts and presenting yourself well on social media video. But while this can be very effective, it will never get you to the very highest positions of authority. What you can do though, is to get a quote or a reference from the highest authorities. 48. Know your why. Your single product is a small part of a much broader business strategy. This is why it's so important to know your why. In other words, you need to know what the overall plan is for your business, and what you want to contribute to the world. This might seem grandiose, but this is what makes the difference between having customers and having fans. If you can build true fans, then you will never struggle to generate sales, and you will have a much easier time galvanizing that audience. 49. What is your USP? Your USP is your unique selling point. To cut this story short, have one. A USP makes you stand out from the crowd, and it gives people a reason to buy from you. Without this, they may as well buy from anywhere else. 50. It's all in the presentation. The way you present a product can make a huge difference to its saleability and the price you can ask for it. Consider the difference that packaging makes, for example. Take your product, place it in a premium black box, and you can charge a whole lot more for it, and you'll find it sells better. People will even be happier with their purchase. 54. Sell something small. Selling something small from your website is a very effective way to get people used to the idea of buying from you. This way, you can save their details, making it easier for them to buy again, and you can demonstrate that you deliver on time and in a trustworthy manner. 55. Remove barriers to sale. This is another example of removing barriers to sale. There are many more things that might likewise put someone off buying. This can range from not trusting the payment system, to even not understanding the language you've written in. Address every single objection you can think of and ensure that you are finding ways to combat them. 56. Point of sale add-ons. Point of sale is the point at which the individual has committed to buying from you and agreed to spend money. This is the point at which you've overcome the barriers to sale, so now it's time to try and maximize the income by adding to the basket. 58. Make it feel premium. Do whatever you can to make your product feel premium and exclusive. That includes talking about it throughout your site in a manner that makes it. 60. Offer multiple payment methods Don't force people to leave your site without buying because they don't have the necessary payment option. PayPal alone is not enough. Several entire countries can't use PayPal. Sound elite. As you can see then, there are tons of things you can do to boost your online sales. Just a few simple tweaks can potentially gain you a whole 5% or more on your conversion rate. But there are also key principles to keep in mind. The most important principle is that of human psychology. It is learning what makes people tick, what motivates them, and how you can understand this in order to make a lot of sales. It means providing something genuinely high quality but also interesting and unique. Then you need to be able to communicate that uniqueness in a way that gets people excited. The bottom line is this, if people are excited about what you're doing and they're excited about your products, then you're going to sell.